Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is the question uh, of the day. Uh, someone is asking me about the speed of the processor, the CPU, and he doesn't understand how can a CPU uh, that is rated at, for example, in this machine, the Core i5 is rated at 2.3, how can it be running at 3.3? and what's happening. So one other question is, he wonders if it could be a defect, is it something that could hurt his PC or bring down the CPU basically. So the uh, answer to this is simple. It's that um, Intel CPUs have dynamic clocks. That means the clock speed for the CPU is variable depending on what the computer does. The rating you see in an Intel CPU is the guaranteed rating. It tells you that this runs at least at 2.3 uh, without any problems. And uh, that is the base core uh, CPU speed. But depending on what the computer does, it will dynamically change that clock speed on an Intel CPU. So. If you look at the CPU itself, it says it has four cores. And that means that at a very high usage, you could be using all four of the cores. That would mean that the CPU is used a lot more, generates more heat. So that would push down this speed. Because what happens here is that there's a check of the temperature and performance of the CPU. And if it sees that, for example, what you're doing uses only one core, three other cores are pretty much doing nothing, the heat generated by one core can be managed so it can actually make the speed faster and do everything you wanna do faster with just one core because it can manage the heat that it will actually uh, do on the CPU. The other cores doing nothing are not heating up the CPU. But if in return you would have, say, several apps open, all using the four cores, then you would see that the utilization here would go up and you'd see that the speed here would go down. And that's because the more cores are used, the more heat is generated. So it's a question of how much your CPU has to do at a certain amount of time. Um, and basically more and more apps will create more and more um, you know, usage on the CPU itself. And that will in turn make the uh, dynamic clocking change what it wants to do in the different speeds and, and the different usage. Um, you see here I've opened other apps and it made spikes in the CPU usage. And you noticed that when this CPU uh, spike was there, that the clock speed went down. That's because some of the cores that weren't inactive maybe started to be active. Uh, and that meant that there could be more generation, um, more generation of heat on the uh, side of the CPU. So all that dynamic clocking will change depending on what's being uh, done on the PC. It's simple as that. It's normal. Uh, Intel CPUs uh, all do that. Uh, and AMD CPUs also do it. They'll just readjust the speed depending on how much work there is done. And the real the real number is the utilization. When this number goes up and goes up to you know close to 100%, very often you'll see that the clock speed will go down because the heat generated by the heavy use means we're going to slow down the machine. But you'll have a guaranteed minimum of 2.3 gigahertz that can be handled. The other way around is also possible. Uh, you might have seen that some machines, when there's really nothing going on, will take the clock and put it even slower than the advertised base speed. So it's really a question of trying to save energy versus what you're doing. Also, the dynamic clocking will be dependent 
on another feature and it's the power management of the PC. If your power management is set to dynamically change depending on, for example, if it's a laptop running on batteries, uh, running on power, uh, if you're gaming, that will also impact the speeds here and make them even slower than the base speed to save energy and make the battery last longer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.